Hello everyone. So I'm Benjamin and I'm here to talk to you about the basics of how to monitor at scale. So uh, to do so, we'll say that we are building an app, a dating app for, for dogs in this case, and we'll see how this application will grow and how its monitoring will grow uh, at the same time. Very first thing, we are at the beginning, we have a beta kind of working things, we already have like the big blocks of the system. And even from now, one first important rule is to measure everything. So not only the applications, all the things around, you need to monitor them. Because basically, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. So if you are trying to improve the speed of your system while you don't have a metric to show it, it's basically like smashing your keyboard like this dog. So you might have like various kind of metrics to report, but the important ones are what I will call the work metrics. So basically the throughput, the number of success, errors, the performance in general, all of these top level metrics of your health of your system are the ones you want to look at first. And then you'll have other kind of monitor data that you can collect, resource metrics from the system, events, all the things will be there in a second time to help you investigate to diagnosis. A few examples for you to understand. In our example that we have with our dating app, we'll of course have as a work metric uh, things like latency, errors, number of calls, a number of swipes inside your app, these kind of things. And then as a resource, you'll have things under the hood, system metrics, the load, the number of queries, the latencies, the network, but also events, new version, third party service down, anything that could trigger something. All these metrics, you'll put them all together in a dashboard. This way, you'll have in one spot a global overview of how it is. Second so milestone, our app is growing, first users, but also with it coming the first outage. So to prevent that, you need to set up some alerts on key metrics, mostly work metrics, that will notify you whenever something is wrong. So of course, depending on the severity, you won't need to wake up in the middle of the morning for small things. And then, whenever this happens, there's a systematic approach to have to fix the issue. It is to always start from the symptoms, mostly the work metrics, and then start to iterate to go down, looking at the metrics and the events in general, to keep going down to understand where the issue is coming from. A third milestone now, we are getting big, we have more and more servers, more and more users, and now we reach a point where we are looking at hosts individually, the way you were maybe doing it, no longer scale, and you need to focus on the service themselves. So the way to do it is to attach tags on top of your metrics so that you'll have an extra like, special dimension on top of your metrics. So when I talk about metrics, it's really like a name, a value, a date, and then this set of tags, which basically will tell you where this metric will apply. Basically, once you have tags, you just use them everywhere. Whenever you are graphing something, whenever you are setting an alert, You'll always use them to scope, let's say, on your prod environment, or to aggregate on top of a specific uh, geographic region or a specific service. Tags can be anything, and I suggest you to use any kind of tags that you want and that might be useful for your specific metric, version, environment, uh, user-specific things. That will allow you to slice and dice a single metric and have different angles of point of view. Last milestone, that you are more and more hosts, more and more service. So don't get lost. Keep using these tags, always having the same approach. Uh, focus on the work metrics, and then your monitoring gets sharper. And by using percentiles and outliers, you can keep monitoring happily your system with 100,000 metrics. Thank you.